Fair use. Fair use. A euphemism to St. Kevin Samuel's famous quote, die alone, die alone. Black women, would you rather get together or would you rather die alone? You ain't lying. So I keep seeing a lot of men say that, you know, women are going to end up having to share their husband or share their man. I even see some women saying this as well. And I beg to differ. That's, that's a lie. That's bull****. I don't have to share no man. I'm not sharing no man. I don't even like sharing my food. So what I look like sharing my man, I'm not doing it. So listen, if that's something you believe for yourself, sis, or bro, then that's something you believe for you. Don't project that out into the world and tell other people they're going to have to settle and deal with it and, and share a man. That's not true because I'm not sharing no f***ing man. I'm not doing it. Oh, what's the matter? You got some sand in your vagina? Yes, my f Isaiah chapter 4 verse 1 And in that day Seven women shall grab hold To one man Seven women shall grab hold To one man saying We will eat our own bread <clears throat> And wear our own apparel <clears throat> So like it Only let us be called by thy name To take away our reproach First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere icons. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit, Isaiah 4 and 1 response video to the video elder apostle um, Tahar did. Isaiah 4 and 1 will take place on this side. It doesn't matter what none of you H to the is old say. It doesn't matter what a woman says, period. It doesn't, for all you Israelite women out there, or in, in women in particular, it doesn't matter what you say, all right? It doesn't matter what we say. It's, it's thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. These words don't go out void. Everything that's written up in the scripture, matter of fact, I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to come right back to that. I want, I want to get this. Get that off the screen. I want to come. I'm gonna come right back to that. I don't know what the hell going on, but it's all good. Man, I ain't gonna stress it. Let's get this Isaiah 34. Let's get this. Everybody got something to say. You, you know what you women should be doing? You should be working out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That that's what you should be doing. You should be working out, getting rid of that big ass stomach. You should learn how to be quiet. You should be learning how to be submissive. You should learn, be learning how to cook, how to clean. You should be bringing everything to the table. You better bring everything to the table because you damn sure ain't the table. You better bring everything to the table that the Bible prescribes for a woman. You see, instead of that loud ass mouth telling the Lord what he going to do and what he ain't going to do. All right. And you're going to submit either way, even if it causes you your life. Just remember that you're Israelite women and women in particular. You see, you're going to submit either way. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Bear, bear with me. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. It is just something quick. You women are going to starve out here, too. All right. Scriptures tell you, Israelite women, rise up, ye callous women that are east. And y'all, the women don't bring nothing to the table, man. Nothing at all but a loud ass mouth baggage of their highest body count and they got the nerve to still run their mouth and tell them you know what I'm saying men what they ain't gonna do and what they is gonna do are, are you are you serious a simple woman is clamorous she is simple and know of nothing I forgot a stubborn woman is simple she know of nothing man Clamor just always running that mouth every time you turn. See, this is about to be over with making videos on the internet telling men what you ain't going to do and what you're going to do. This is going to be a thing of the past. Wait till all hell break loose. Just like those women over there in um, Denver, I think. With all those, they, they complain about all those Venezuelan gang members and things of that nature taking over the apartments. You strong and independent, gather up the women, gather up the troops, go over there and take the apartment complex over. Y'all say y'all don't need a man. Don't complain about needing a man after you run your mouth for several years saying you don't need a man. Now you complain, hey, we need help. They take it over the apartments. You do it. You need help cutting the grass? You do it. You need some trees cutting your backyard? You do it. You need your damn plumbing fixed? You got a big-ass leak inside your house or your apartment? Guess what? You do it. 
You having problems with the AC? You do it. You having problems with your car running, the tires, the engine? Guess what? You do it. You independent. You strong. Somebody going to ooze upside your damn head? Don't call a man. You do it. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. The Lord is sick and tired of you women, man. Every time we turn around, y'all making another damn stupid ass video. Saying what you go. And you don't know, share my man. That man don't belong to you. You women have really, this damn devil didn't, didn't let y'all run y'all mouth too damn much, man. Gave you an inch and you took a damn mile. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16, and it reads, because remember, Isaiah 4 and 1 will take place on this side, all right? Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. I'm just getting something out there. Really don't even like making videos like this. You see? But I got, I got something on my mind, something on my mind. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, which is the Bible. Look, look, and read. Blesses he that readeth, blesses he that understand what he's reading. No one of these shall fail. So Isaiah 4 and 1, it's not going to fail. It's gonna, and a whole lot of women going to get rejected. A whole lot of women going to get rejected. You're going to be out here stinking. You got you them, have them dirty ass pants on, them dirty ass damn drawers on. You're going gonna to be hungry. You're going to be looking through out here, man. Big ass bags up under your eyes, probably missing teeth. Damn, damn, black eyeballs. Who knows, man? Just ran through the dirt. You're going to get ran through the dirt out here, man. You see? And they got them foreign troops over here. The, the migrants over here. They gonna get, the Lord going to let them loose on you, man. No one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. The Bible stands alone. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath given. You, you just like women, y'all don't think the Lord is fucking sick and tired of you running your mouth? Y'all y'all don't think that, right? Just running your damn mouth. Ain't trying to get no skills, no cooking skills, no submissive skills. You're just running. A man gonna do what I say. Let's get this. Isaiah chapter 4 verse 1. And in that day, the time of Jacob's trouble, the time of martial law, the time of all hell brick loose, the time of an anarchy. You see, the time of the hour of temptation when, they, when this devil make it mandatory that you take an implantable device in order to get some food, in order to get some water. You see, you better go look. You women better go look at them entire private. You, all you Israelite like women, go, you better go look at the movie The Road. You better go back and look at the book of Eli. That movie, The Book of Eli, go, go look at that. You see, go look at that movie Bushwick. You're going to find yourself knee deep in it soon come. At least you repent and submit. But once again, every woman on the face of the earth will eventually submit to a man. All right? Eventually, man. What did what, 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 what it say? And in that day, seven women, complete number of women. Could be seven, could be 10, could be 50, could be 100. Whatever that man prefers, whatever the Lord put the spirit on that man to prefer. It's going to be up to the Israelite man. To choose who he wants. What was that? What was that movie? Bruce Lee. I think it was um, Jim Kelly. You can go. You Israelite women, go watch that. Go watch the scene in Bruce Lee. Jim Kelly. There was a whole lot of women. He was like, "I'll take you. I'll take you. I'll take you. You. I. I, I don't want you. I had a long day. But you over there, I take you too. That's how it's gonna be in that day. Men are gonna choose who they want to deal with. All right. Ain't gonna be no women walking around talking about someday independent. Their career. I got their master's degree. This shit don't mean nothing anyway. Y'all think that means something to men? You see? Take them down. Take them fake ass nails on. Been telling you women. Look all the time. Take them down nails on. We don't like women with fake ass nails. We don't like women walking around with all this damn makeup. We don't like women with BBLs. What part of that don't y'all get? We want submissive women. Not a woman, soon you walk through the door, you had a hard day's work. Soon you walk through the door, she's just running her damn mouth. A silent and loving woman is a gift from the Lord. That's what the elect, hopeful elect men are going to get. Silent and loving women. All right? Now, dude, you got women out here proud of themselves. Like, you can't take me to this restaurant. And you can't take me here. And you can't. You better be glad somebody taking you any damn well. You don't deserve nothing. You don't deserve nothing. And in that day, seven women, complete number of women, shall take hold of one man. You see? It ain't going to be no, I don't need a man. I'm independent. That shit can't really go out the window so fast, so fast. And before that day, and that day fashion approaches, before that day actually hit, you, you Israelite women need to be walking, need to be getting rid of them funny ass shaped bodies, need to be getting rid of that big ass stomach. You know what I'm saying? Doing some sit ups, eating better. All that. Saying we will eat our own bread. Women going to go back to cooking. The average woman can't even boil water. Let alone cook a decent meal. 
Too busy running in the damn streets. All hell breaking loose. It's going to sit you women down. Just like 2020. When 2020 came and, they, and, and the Lord put the spirit on Sleazy to lock down the cities, you women didn't have no other choice but to sit your ass down. That, it's coming back again. And it's going to be beautiful too, yo. It's going to be beautiful to see the Lord put you, you effing women back in the damn house where you belong. All right? Guide the house. You, you won't guide the house to save your life, but, but soon come, you're going to be begging to guide the house, right? We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. It ain't going to be no, you need to take me to um, um the damn mall. I don't know them expensive names. Louis Vuitton, their Chanel's, their Red Bottom. A woman ain't thinking about that. She's going to say, we're gonna, I'm going to wear my own apparel. She's going to go back to sewing. These are the skills that you women should be getting. You're always on the internet talking that bullshit. You should be learning how to sew. You should learn how to cook. You, you should learn how you supposed to be once again supposed to be getting physically fit right about now, doing some exercise, walking every day, getting rid of that big ass stomach, some crunches, going to the gym or, or, or do the um, the workout thing at home in your yard. Y'all always bring them out. Y'all got houses and all this shit, big backyards and all this shit. But then, but then you show a picture of yourself. You're big as a damn house. Come on, man. We will eat our own bread, yeah, going back to cooking, yeah, going back to cooking, and we'll wear our own apparel, going back to sewing, look, 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 only let us be called by thy name, and what happens when a woman is called by a man's last name, he pops them, man, they're gonna want you to pop them in that day, man, all these, I'm hearing about all these damn sexless relationships, this shit, shit is bonkers, man. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Because these women are going to be catching a prayer hell. They're going to be catching a prayer. And this is something quick too. These women are going to be catching prayer hell, man. You see? Rise up, you careless women that are at ease. And I want to get just a couple of scriptures, man. It ain't nothing long. I'm not going to share my man. Yeah, stop pushing that stuff out there. Look, the Bible is pushing it out there. So, so stop trying to push that on the women. Stop trying to push... If you if you only know what's gonna be pushed upon you soon come, you're gonna submit when them girl are true, when that uh, when World War Three, them race wars, the class wars, the civil wars, the gender wars really pop off over here. You you gonna see what the Bible been talking about. Look, we're entering into the worst time ever known in the history of mankind that's coming upon the face of the earth. Evils never seen before. Evils never meaning bad times never heard before. What the hell do you think the wicker weaker vessel, aka that woman, is gonna do in these days? That Isaiah 4 and 1, she gonna try to hurry up and find her damn man. Quick. She gonna do it quick too, man. Quick. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 2, and it reads, and a man, and a and hopeful elect Israelite man. You see? And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, from the destruction, man, from these different judgments, man. And they covered from the tempest, from the storms, right? The mighty storms. And it has rivers of water in a dry place because as long as the grocery store is open, you see, as long as the mall is open, as long as the beauty supply store, as long as these beauty salons are open, as long as these women got these careers, you know what I'm saying? And as long as you got all these damn simps around, just catering to these damn age to the Israel, the Lord going to get rid of all you simps too. You see? And the simps going to eventually get tired of catering to you damn ace to the isos that don't bring nothing to the table. You see? Tired of, bring some tired ass box. That's the only thing you bring to the table in a loud ass mouth. That, that's about to be over with, man. And a man should be as in hiding place from the wind. And a cover from the tempest. As rivers of water in a dry place. Just imagine you in the desert. We go through this all the time. Imagine you in the desert. And you ain't had no water for like two weeks. And you about the D.I.E. of thirst. The next thing you know, you see off in the far distance, you know what I'm saying, a pool of water. How you think you're going to be acting, man? Well, that's how a hopeful like Israelite man going to be in that day when all hell break loose. It's going to be like you being in the desert, ain't having water in maybe two weeks to a month, then you finally come up on some water. You know how, you know how thankful you're going to be if you ain't allowed to be able to get a sip of water? And, and and the animals of the beast can't, can't forget that. That what is the Job? That's either Job or either Psalms 91. The Lord gonna be showing his men favor in that day. That my servant shall eat, my servant shall drink, but you're gonna be ashamed. The Israelites didn't take heed to this word. The Israelites, and this is mainly for the women too. You sisters, you sisters. Now we find out that the majority of these sisters are the biggest whores on the face of the earth. You see? 
hollering at this man, hollering at this man, hollering at this man. Then they say, you know, a sleazy call him out, tell him, well, that, she's my woman. And then another dude say, well, nah, she's my woman. And then another, that damn dad, he, he's in, he said, no, nah, she's my woman. But yeah, but yeah, you a sister. Nobody ain't falling for that shit, man. Yo, y'all, y'all take us for a joke or something. You see? Lord has given us a spirit of discernment. We see right through you sisters. You sisters. Come on, man. With your damn head wraps and all that. You ain't nothing but an ace to the damn Izzo. And if it'll apply, let it fly. You see? What it say? In, a, in water in a dry place and as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. And one thing I wanted to mention again, going right back to Psalms 91, said the beasts of the field are going to be in league with the men of the Lord. All right? So we're going to be able to sick these animals on y'all soon. Come the birds, the lions, tigers, bears, oh my, pulling off their damn wig and that damn scalp. You see? Walking around looking fake as hell, now, demanding men, telling men what they're going to do and what they ain't going to do. You, you looking fake as hell. You see? It's almost so, it's a beautiful thing, man. Is the the land the mirth of the land is going? You see, all you see is women complaining about you no know saying not being able to pay their damn mortgage, not being able to pay their damn rent. You you better get it how you live. You independent. I ain't giving none of you motherfuckers nothing. Just know that, man. Isaiah chapter thirty two verse nine and it reads: Rise up, ye women that are at ease, you careless daughters. You you independent ninjas. You no know saying the Lord said, rise up, man. Do you not see what time it is? The trumpet is blowing. The alarm is sounding off, man. You see. You got more spirits created with vengeance. Oh, you see more and more women getting napped up. You know what I'm saying? You got men, you know saying? all kind of videos of men just socking it to them, man. Straight to the, right in the kisser, as they say, man. Right to the damn flow, man. And everybody just standing around, you know what I'm saying, not doing that first. They say, Why y'all ain't help me? Why y'all ain't help me? You got it. You got it. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. It's comfortable. Laxy daisy. Ain't got a care in the world. Just run. Don't even see the doors closing in. I'm saying, only thing they do is just run in their damn mouth, man. You see? Hear my voice. Who's the voice of the Lord? The servants, the prophets, man. Isaiah 4 and 1 will take place on this side. We, we read, you know what I'm saying? Seven women, complete number of women, women are going to take hold to one man. And you women ain't stopping shit. I mean, nothing at all. Only thing you running is your mouth, man. You see? But you hope for elect sisters out there. You better be getting your damn exercise on. You better be getting your submissive, you know what I'm saying, um, feminine women spirit on. You better be praying for it more and more every day. Your voice better be soft as hell. You see? Don't come, don't come. You think a man gonna deal with a straggly ass voice? Damn voice sound like a damn truck driver. Man, y'all out of here, man. Y'all going to be food for the wolves. The majority of you Israelite women, you're going to be food for the wolves. All right? What it say? What it say? Ye careless daughters just come outside naked as hell. You see? Ass all out. And it's women that know who they are, man. You see them on the social media. You see them on the Instagram. You see them on the fake book. You see them on the YouTube. They be, they be more naked than the, than the average two-thirds Jake woman. You see out there, they don't know no better. The ears are like women. They have camel toes showing. You see, oh, yeah, daughters of Sarah Dopes. Come on, man. They have, they have whole damn body covered up with tattoos. They have face, neck, ass. Chest, everything, all hold of them legs, just tattoo. I'm a daughter, sir. Pick me though, pick me though. I'm the prize, I'm the prize. Are you serious? Are you serious? Many days and years shall you be troubled, man. You wait to all hell break loose, man. People gonna be in and out of your cribs, you know what I'm saying? Getting at you. Like, like the scriptures say, a neighbor shall have no pity upon his neighbor. For for great tribulation and a lack of bread, man. There ain't gonna be no food out here for you to get, man. Y'all gonna be eating dirt, mud pies. Y'all shit, shit. Second Kings, I'm saying the sixth chapter. Say women gonna be eating their offspring, and then you're gonna know that a prophet had been among you, right? Then you're gonna know that a prophet had been among you, right? Many days and years shall ye be troubled. No, no, no matter, matter of fact, ye callous daughters, give ear unto my speech, man. And it's warning coming from the prophets. Many days and years shall you be troubled, ye callous daughters, ye callous women. For the vintage shall fail. Eventually, you know what I'm saying? These government programs, the little, little um, things, you know what I'm saying? You know, the sleazy give y'all like Section 8, food stamps, you know what I'm saying? Good jobs, you know what I'm saying? All that. All that's going to fail soon come, man. The vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. Tremble. Mean, meaning be very afraid. Be very afraid, ye women, you Israelite women, Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian women, right? It, it's crazy that you got a such thing called passport bros to the women are so damaged, you know what I'm saying? So deranged, you know what I'm saying? And so disgusting, you know what I'm saying? You see? 
And it ain't worth shit, you know what I'm saying? The Lord put his spirit on certain men to just get on that plane and say, F it, man. You see? Just say, F it, man. That, that shows you what type of women are here in Babylon and great to where men, you know what I'm saying, have said the hell with it. And they get, they're going a thousand miles away. They're getting the hell away from you women, man. You're not worth it, man. Damn attitudes from here to damn hell. No one wants to deal with that shit. Loud mouth, attitude, badass attitude. Can't, can't do nothing. You got women. I was watching a video yesterday. You had this dude. His his wife was on a video. So, so she don't buy deodorant. She goes to the store. She buys deodorant for her. She buys the um underwear and you know you know things that a woman need. But she said if she even knows that her husband needed, even though he's paying all the bills, he's paying all the bills, the rent, the light bill, groceries. He paying for everything. But she says with the money that she have, she won't even buy this man no deodorant. What you think gonna happen to a woman like that when all hell break loose? She gonna be food for the wolves, man. You see? Just, just show you how worthless you women are. You women are pretty much worthless, man. And you hopeful that sisters out there trying to the best of your ability, it, it don't apply to you. But, 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 but do it though. But, but do it though. You're, you're hearing stories of brothers saying they wives running their damn mouth and ain't submitting. You see? Oh, the daughters of Sarah, though, right? Daughters of Rebecca, right? Come on, man. Lord, seeing through all that, man. Tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless, you careless ones. Strip you and make you bear and gird sackcloth upon your loins. The Lord gonna strip y'all of everything. And I got one more scripture. Then I'm gonna wrap it up. Ain't nothing long, man. Ain't nothing long. Matter, matter of fact, I wanna get, um... Let's get my service shall eat. Let's get that right quick, man. My service shall eat. Bear with me. My service shall eat. Let's just get that. My service shall eat. My service shall eat. Just bear with me. Let's get, let's get this right quick. Is every time you turn around, it's just a damn woman on the internet talking about what she ain't going to do and what she is going to do. You know, y'all can share y'all, man, but I ain't going to share my man. He he doesn't belong to you. I mean, what part of that don't you Israelite women get? The man doesn't belong to you. You see? You belong to the man. It, it says, he that get it for wife. Do, do I have to get that? Do I, do I have to get that? Let's get that. Get if a possession. Let's see. Bear with me. Sirach, also known as Ecclesiastes chapter 36, verse 24, and it reads, He that getteth a wife, a man that getteth a wife, right? Begetteth a possession. What is a possession? Something that you own, all right? So when a man gets a woman, he owns her. But you got women talking something. You ain't my daddy. You don't own me. According to the Bible, you do. That lets you know the majority of these women don't know the Bible, let alone believe in it. He that getteth a wife. Are we not reading the same thing? He that getteth a wife, begetteth a possession, a, a help, a help. What does the word woman mean? Female servant. You was created to serve, serve, serve. Not absorb authority over the man. You was created to serve, 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 serve. How many times does the Bible have to say it? How many times do the Lord have to speak through us to tell you women that your job, you was created to serve, all right? Your desire is to your husband, all right? He that giveth a wife, begiveth a possession, a help like unto himself, and a pillar of rest. That's what you women was created to be, a pillar of rest. When a man has a hard day, you know what I'm saying? He comes, you know what I'm saying? And you comfort him. You see? With your love, you know what I'm saying? Not with your nagging ass voices, man. And, uh, and all your damn problems, man. Got all these damn problems, man. A man get a woman, he, he gets a wife, he gets a possession. He owns you. He belongs to you now. You go from your daddy owning you to your husband owning you, all right? I'm independent. I mean, all that shit getting ready to go out the window, man. Everything that that woman said is getting ready to go out the damn window, yo. And it's going to be a beautiful thing. I might as well get this right quick since I'm already here. Let's just get it. Silent and loving woman. That's what we're going to get soon come. A silent and loving woman. A woman that knows how to submit. You see? That has that comforting um, nature. That has that submissive nature already inside of her. 
ba Babylon the Great has destroyed you women, man. Just look at you, destroy the shit all of y'all look through. You see? Sirach 26, 14. A silent and loving woman is a gift from the Lord. A silent and loving woman is a gift from Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. A silent and loving woman, not a loud mouth B I T C H, but a silent and loving woman. And that's what the Lord going to give his servant soon come. When Isaiah 4 and 1 kick in, that's exactly what the men of the Lord, you know what I'm saying, are going to get. You see, Lord willing, I'm part of that whole phenomenon. A silent and loving woman. A woman that's going to actually submit for the first time in her life. And Lord got those women out there in the clip that's, that's ready to submit. That ain't got a problem with submitting. They out there, you see, and they're not going to run their mouth about nothing. No, they ain't gonna have nothing to say about nothing. They ain't gonna say, "Can you give me a couple more months?" You no, know saying because I, I gotta get used to it. Gotta, mother, they gonna come through the door ready to submit. You ain't gonna have no other choice because all hell gonna be breaking loose. All hell gonna be breaking loose. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed man. There's nothing better than a woman that can take heed to instruction to righteous instructions. You see. Instead of bucking up, because right about now, you give a woman righteous instructions according to the Bible, she's going to buck up against it. But but not in this day. When all hell breaks loose, she ain't bucking up against nothing because she buck up against some has getting out the door. You see? And she got to deal with them wolves out there. You wait, man. The spirits created with visions are ready for you women too. Y'all want to get this. What is it? Isaiah 65 and 13. Let's just click on this right quick. I got one more scripture after this, and then I'm going to roll out. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 13. Let's click on the whole chapter. Isaiah 65 and 13. And it reads, therefore, thus saith the Lord. It's all about thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible. And bear with me. Oh, yeah, another thing that I want to say. You're Israelite women out there. You're supposed to be learning how to make tinctures. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you should be learning how to um, plant crops and things of that nature, man. You're supposed to be learning how to make oils. You know what I'm saying? All the above, man. All the above. Spend your time wisely. Spend your time wisely. You see? Because when the shit pop off, you know what I'm you better be knowing how to do something. You better be knowing how to do something, man. But let's get this, though. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 13. And it reads, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, behold, my servants, my servants shall eat. You hear that? My servants shall eat. But ye shall be hungry. All you loud mouth ace to the damn Izzos, you wig wearers, you damn. And then they got a video I call on um, wig snatchers. People just running around snatching wigs off, off these women heads, man. You seeing them nappy ass, you know what I'm saying? Little fucking little nap thing. Uh, you, I'm gonna get your sucker looking ninjas, you know what I'm saying? So when they take, so when they snatch that damn wig off your damn head, you looking through and say, your funny ass shaped head, man. You see? It, it's, it's really going down. The Lord said, look, look, his servants are gonna eat, but ye shall be hungry. You got it. Look, look, go to your daddy. Go to your daddy, you know what I'm saying? The one that you made that covenant with, that agreement with, it in garden, you know what I'm saying? Sleazy, go to your daddy, man. Because remember, you don't need a man. He talked you into saying you don't need a man. The only thing you got now is damn sexy days. I call you call a sexy red. I call it damn sexy red, you know what I'm saying? Going around, some song, F -F -F -M -B, whatever that name of that song is. Saying they don't need no man and, and Megan Thee Stallion, who knows what the hell that is, you know what I'm saying? Running around talking mess. Hey, all these women are going to need a man soon come. You see? And a whole lot of ravishing are going on. Remember, them Gurgle troops are already over here. The foreign troops are already over here. And, and one of you brothers put, um, what is it, what is it, 2nd Edges, the 16th chapter, verse 33, 34, and 35, I'm thinking, in the comment section. Add on, add on. Said the virgins shall mourn having no bridegroom. The women shall mourn having no husband. When all hell break loose, you will mourn. And that's thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. Damn, damn, damn bitter ass women. You know what I'm saying? Complain. Y'all got everything. See y'all exposed. And you got these women, we always say it. You got these women with these six figure jobs. They don't do shit for their man. You see? He still got to pay the bills. Even though that woman got this six figure job, she making all kind of money. And she don't do shit for nobody but her damn self. But a man can have a six figure job and he would do everything for everybody in the household. The woman that has a six figure job and she won't do nothing for nobody but her damn self. You see? 
stingy ass women, man, selfish as hell. But but in this day, you're gonna be seeking a man. What it say? But ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink. They're gonna have water. They're gonna have yun yun. They're gonna have something that's strong. But ye shall be thirsty. Tyrone Bigham, that damn white ass on ring around your damn lips. You see? Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. All right? The Israelites that didn't take heed to this word, the Lord gonna put it on your monkey ass, man. You see? And I got one more scripture. I ain't even, it won't even meant to be this long. But it, but it is what it is, man. I don't control nothing. It's going to go down. Let pride go up before destruction and the heart your spirit before fall. The Lord letting everybody be proud. Let, let, let the pride ooze out. Let it come out. Everybody that's proud in heart, bring it out, man. Put it on a video. Let everybody know how you feel and watch the Lord work. And watch your how about how shimmy out shot work, man. All of you, man. The average, the average Israelite woman and these entertainer Israelite women, all of them gonna be brung low. Each and every last one of them, man. You see, got these damn big ass shirts, these damn Lizzo tight women. They walk around proud as hell, man. So, so, so their requirements. He has to do this. He has to do that. Please, man. Isaiah chapter three. I just want to get my end it with this. Isaiah chapter three. See where I want to start at. Isaiah chapter three. Ba ba ba. Let me see. Bear with me. Yeah, I want to start here. Moreover, verse 16. It says, Moreover, the Lord saith, because the daughters, you Israelite women, Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian women of Zion are haughty, you proud as shit. And once again, pride go before destruction and the heart of spirit before fall. And the scripture say, pride is where one departed from their maker. They think they God. You see, because you got these Egyptian ninjas, you know saying, these Kemet ninjas walking around talking about something, the black woman is God. Are you serious? A goddamn demon? How about that? that that's what she is, right? And walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, no discipline whatsoever. They could be with, with a man that's providing their whole lifestyle and they would still stare at another man. Straight up, just straight up disrespect the man like it ain't nothing, man. They're very disrespectful, but it's going to come back and bite them in their ass. You see? What it say? And wanton eyes walking and mincing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet. Therefore, the Lord will smite the scab with the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. And in that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and the calls and their round tires like the moon. The chains and the bracelets, the Lord going to strip you Israelite women of everything. You ain't going to have S-H-I-T soon come. You're not going to have S-H-I-T soon come. Are you not hearing this? You see? For all you sisters out there, for all you daughters of Sarah, for all you um, daughters of Rebecca, right? Come on, man. The biggest damn H to the damn Izzo is, is um, women that know who they are, according to the Bible. Them, them some of the biggest H to the damn Izzo's, man. Them some of the worst ones. Now, you find some of the best ones, but then you, you mostly find some of the worst ones, man. You see? The chains and the bracelets, all that material BS. Well, even Cindy Lopez said she's a material girl living in a material world. You see? And all girls want to do is have damn fun. They don't want to sit down and be submissive. The only thing they think about is having damn fun and working their man to damn death while they sit back do nothing. And cause him an early death, you see? And cause him gray hair. It's going to come back and bite you in your ass. They don't, shit, you hear about men not even getting massages from these damn ace to the damn Izzos? But she's sitting back comfortable and relaxed. She's good and massaged up. She, she's spending all her money on massage therapists and all that. But a man that's been working hard, taking care of everything, can't even get a damn massage from his woman. Don't massage his feet after a hard day's work. Don't do a damn thing. You see? But but complain all damn day. She got everything, but she's still sitting back and complaining about every damn thing. The Lord said, I'm taking away them chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, the bonnets, you see? And the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings. All this material nonsense, man. It's all damn house full of shit. You know what I'm saying? You see? Damn purses every damn way, you know what I'm saying? Damn, damn wigs every damn way, damn purses, damn, damn clothes every damn way. Got that got shit, the man gotta take his stuff out the closet because the woman's stuff disappears. He ain't got nowhere to put his stuff. 
His stuff is in the damn hallway closet, you know what I'm saying? While she got the bedroom closet and the second bedroom closet full of some bullshit, man. You see? That that dude ball, right? Lost, I'm stripping over everything. The area, the tablets, the earrings, the rings, the nose jewel, the changeable suits of apparel. Just went into that. All these damn clothes. I ain't got nothing to wear. I ain't got nothing to wear. Say Sue, are you blind or something? How the hell you ain't got nothing to wear when you got two damn closets full of shit, man? You got an outfit for every day. Shit, you got 365 damn outfits. Tell us you ain't got nothing to wear. Tell us I just wore that last year. I wore that outfit last year. Ninja, are you serious? Are you, are you are you serious? The changeable suits of a apparel and the mantles and the wimples and then the crispy pins, the glasses. Look at all this shit, man. And the fine linen and the hoods and the veils. And this shall come to pass. Instead of sweet smell, there should be stink. And you know what that's talking about? That's talking about that damn box down there. The lower ends, man. The lower ends. It's going to stink like it already stink already. But it's going to really stink. It ain't going to stink. It's going to stink. You see? Because she ain't going to have no Victoria's Secret. She ain't going to have no damn Mass and Gill. She ain't going to have no damn Ivory. You know what I'm saying? Ivory soap. You know what I'm saying? No damn uh, Safeguard soap. Or whatever they use down there. You see? She ain't going to have no damn Dush or none of that. You better go look at them entire movies like The Road, The Book of Eli, when it was dirty and stinking. And they, they was begging for a man to help him out. That's how you women gonna be so calm. What it say? And it's stand, and it shall come to pass. And remember, everything that's written of in the Bible will eventually come to pass, right? And it, and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there should be stink, man. And instead of a girt, a rent, a funny ass shaped body. Our women used to have them nice curvy bodies. You see, them them hourglass bodies. Now, now look, now now look. Built like a damn wrestler, built like a damn linebacker. The average is like women built like a damn linebacker. But she's the main, she she's she's the main one. You know what I'm saying she, she's entitled. All this damn entitlement is gonna go out the window too. And instead of sweat, well set hair, baldness. Mainly talking about that Judite woman. You see. Just but the bald head, scaly wag. She got no hair and bag. Chicken head, chicken, chicken, chicken head. You see? And instead of a stomacher, a girder of sackcloth. You see? And Bernie instead of beauty. This is something, something quick, man. All hell about to break loose. And Isaiah 4 and 1 would take place on this side. So it doesn't matter what a woman has to say. It doesn't matter what you women have to say, all right? It's all about thus save the Lord and thus save the Bible. And eventually, every Israelite woman will submit, all right? And your Israelite man is going to have as many women as he wants. We know you, you the only one. You want to ride the cock carousel all day. 300 bodies, 400 bodies, all this nonsense. But as soon as the Bible, the Bible... The Bible tells women that they're only supposed to have one husband, but they ride the CC. The Bible tells an Israelite man that he can have as many women as he wants, and they got a problem with that. They got a problem with everything that the scriptures have said, but, but eventually you will submit. Isaiah 4 and 1 will take place on this side. Shalom.